I have to tell you about your fans. I have fans. You have fans. Oh, you can't! I can't believe I have fans. You have fans, Auntie. People like you. people love you. Oh my God, they love you. they love you. They talk about you all the time. What about men? Do the men love you? The men love you. Okay. The men love I'm you. I'm sorry, ladies. I like everybody to love me, but yeah. and there's some men that love you that don't love you. I don't but mean, they love I don't you. mean in love with me. I don't mean that. No, I mean that they love you, but they also love men too. Anyway. <laughs> wow. So let me tell you. Okay, but that's okay. Today we got some really good food coming your way. We got a chicken and broccoli stir fry from yours truly, Lady Adair. I do contribute. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> wait. I cannot wait. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce what we are cooking. So we have our chicken, of course. This is just cut up chicken breast. You got your broccoli. You have your carrots. And of course, your seasonings, which is salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic, chicken seasoning, and Tony Sacks. You're gonna need some flour. You're gonna need your herbs, which is your Italian seasoning, and your crushed red pepper. You got your two types of onions, your red onion and your white onion. And then you have your red, green, and orange peppers, and then soy sauce. That's all you need for this, very simple. I'm gonna show you how it's done. We're gonna season our meat and go ahead and saute that, pan sear it. We're gonna steam our vegetables and our broccoli. We're gonna get all of that steam. We're gonna add our tri peppers and onions and all of our seasonings together. And then when that gets to a, I guess what, a, a nice little mm -hmm. simmer? Well, let me take over. Take, take over, over, please. Okay, Auntie. first of all, the, the chicken, we're gonna saute it in olive oil. Mm. Then once it's brown, after season, we're gonna set it to the side. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna ball. We're gonna have the ball broccoli with the carrots. We're gonna steam that about maybe five or ten minutes just to get it soft and put it to the side. Then we're gonna star fry the onions and the green peppers. Put the chicken back in, and then we're gonna add the broccoli and the carrots. After that, saute about maybe five or ten minutes. Then we're mm -hmm. gonna add the the soy sauce. And the flour, that's going to give it flavor. Just like, you know, your favorite Chinese food that you eat. I mm -hmm. promise you, that's how it tastes. It and tastes that's tasty. basically it. That's what's up. That sounds real simple. I'm glad she explained that. But y'all know, <laughs> it's going to taste like that Chinese chicken and broccoli. I know that Chinese chicken and broccoli. With a little hood. With the soy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go off set and prepare this for y'all so y'all can see what it look like. And then we'll be back with some great conversation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, you trending. Girl, I got to tell you all this stuff. When we come back, I'm going to tell you what everybody been saying. Girl. And what they say? If you can't, what? Stay in the heat. Stay out of this kitchen. Ah, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're back. While that's cooking on the stove, where we've mixed all the ingredients together and we have that simmering, we are going to have some conversations. I have to tell you about your fans. I have fans? You have fans. Oh, you can't. I can't believe I have fans. You have fans, auntie. People like you. People love you. Oh, my God. They love you. They love you. They talk about you all the time. What about men? Do the men love you? The men love you. Okay. The men love I'm you. sorry, ladies. I like everybody to love me, but yeah. and there's some men that love you that don't love you. I don't but mean, they love I don't you. mean in love with me. I don't mean that. No, I mean that they love you, but they also love men too. Anyway, <laughs> wow. So let me tell you. Okay, but that's okay. Everybody about to join a tsunami because of you. What I said about I said something about the tsunami. 
You did say something about the tsunami, but you meant the Illuminati. Oh, it's the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, the tsunami. But now everybody's going to join the tsunami. Because that's what it truly is. It's not a tsunami, auntie. It's a then little... why they join it? Because you said it, and now everybody is like, yeah, we got to get together and join that tsunami. Yeah, but they need to because it's the really, it's really tsunami, not Illuminati. <sighs> that's true. That's true. They also... They also love the fact that you think everybody smells like boiled bologna. That's but light I skin. I said light skin and Caucasian. Caucasian and light skin. Caucasian. Caucasian and light skin. <laughs> but so do the women? That was the question. Do you feel like I light skin? I don't have women? nothing to do with women. I said men. I know, but you've been around light skinned women. Do they smell like boiled bologna? But because. Only if a man is interested in me, that's when I smell a baloney. So if it's a white woman, she ain't interested in me, so I ain't smelling. But if a white person, wait, wait. but if a Caucasian man or a light skinned man interested in me and they come close to me, I start smelling boy baloney. So only if they interested. Only so. if they interested in me. I don't know if everybody in the world smell like boy baloney, but my experiences with the light skinned and Caucasian people. They smell like boiling bologna. <laughs> like you put a piece of bologna in water and just boil it to death. That's how they smell. Now, I'm not, now don't get offended, people. Light skinned people and Caucasians, because I don't smell all of y'all. I'm just talking about the ones that came close to me. <laughs> and the boiled bologna to me was a turn off. Mm. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know everybody in the world smell like boiled bologna, so please, y'all, don't get offended. Cause I don't know y'all. Y'all didn't try to come in, come 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 push up on me or nothing. But if you can't stand the heat, then you stay out this kitchen. What's up, y'all? This episode is being brought to you by the MacBook Pros. Yes, I said it. If you need a MacBook Pro fully loaded with recording, video editing, graphic design software, you need to hit our people up. They are in Metro Atlanta, but shipping is also available. So you can find them on IG at MacBook underscore pros underscore atl and tell them we sent you exactly what she said either way i also had someone say that they feel like they could get somebody to try you and turn you out what what who where they at i don't know Did I, they give a, I can't say they tell them to them, bring it on but they said that you mm-hmm. know you be talking and they feel like you're amazing and they feel like they could turn you out oh is it a woman or a man? Because if it's a woman, don't even try because you get a feeling hurt. Whatever, you know, respect if you're a stud or whatever you are. But if it's a man, boy, bring it on. Okay. And then I have some, you know, male friends that said that they would like to answer all your questions about... As far as what? I have questions. You had, you know, you didn't understand certain methods when men and men are together or when they wanted, they wanted to, to share with me. They like, wanted to share so you can understand that, you know, it's not all bad. Like, they wanted to let you know how it's done because you really, you might, you might not They know. want me to know how it's done with yeah, two men they, they, they think you have the wrong perception. You be watching these movies and that's not how it really goes. But I've encountered with gay men, and they have been my friends, and they tell you stories, and it's it's, it's something to be a, to listen to. Yes, that's what it is. They, they say they have their periods and stuff. How a man going to have a period? They said they had a period. They said they had periods. Who said that? They said they had periods. How? Because the man plunged them too hard, and they came on their period. But they don't even have to say Exactly. Home. So how is they going to get me to understand what? I don't know. I think they figured you ain't really. I wish stories. they was live right now so they could. They want to be your guest stars. They want to talk to you, Lady Adair. They have and they have subjects for us too. They have a list of things they want us to talk please, about. Please, please, please. They want us to talk about the shows that we watch on TV. Okay. Like, um, of course, they wanted the request was P Valley. The request was all I, the Queen's I, I'm men. I'm not really into P Valley. All the Queen's men. I loved all the Queen's men. You love everybody in the Who was your favorite star? All of them. All of them? All of them. Oh. Yeah. Especially the queen. Oh, she was bad. Now. She, she, she was a beast. Eva she is, was a beast. Uh, be- Madam? And you know why I like all of them? Because they all was men. Now, that little lesbian thing, she was okay with the, with the ones that wanted to lesbian. But all them fine men, and you showed all them personals of their bodies. Oh. Um, 
I don't know. I ain't looking at little yes, she did. men's bodies. Yes, she I didn't see that part because I'm married. So I know not. you married and no disrespect to my nephew I and mean, your husband. But if you see a big juicy one, you can't help but look. Just like if a man see a fine woman, he going to look. Ain't no disrespect. That's don't true. mean you want the man. That's true. That's true. But That's I was true. looking hard. You was looking yeah, hard? I was looking hard. You rewinded it and, and went I back. I didn't rewind it. I saw it with the beginning. I feel you. I feel you. So that but I couldn't have them pounding on me every day. No. Oh, no, yeah. That's too much. too much. I don't think anybody can have to pound it every day. I don't know. If I had a husband, he could pound me every day. Yeah. I have one. That's true. I definitely could stand to be pounded every day if I needed to be. Some kind of intimacy. Yeah. Because you can't have a man pounding up you every day because it messes up your inside. <laughs> That's true. And I'm telling you, Arthur, I know this lady. She let a man go in the wrong side of her, the, the other place. And now. The anal sex. Yes. And now she's walking around with a bag. With a, a bag? With a poop bag for the rest oh, of her life. Oh, hell no, niggas. I don't want my ass with you. We ain't going to even date. Yep. See, if they don't know what they're doing, they go up in there wrong. She said, messed her up for life. But you know what? If it's my bottom that they trying to get, and that was something I enjoy, oh, I will show you how to do it. You ain't going to just jab. You God, I think this is for another subject. Maybe no, I no, 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 don't say it. Do you you going to teach them? But you can't. How do you teach them? Because they can't just plunge up in you. Well, well, how are you going to teach them? Teach because them. like there's a virgin that they, they got they, need their cherry pot. You got to take it slow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying if it was mine, I mean I ain't did that, but if it was my butt <laughs> You ain't gonna just plunge me. That's true. Hard that's true. and make me scream and then I'm wearing a bag. Yeah. Oh, you gonna be wearing something too. Well how, how are you gonna, gonna wear to... something? You gonna what wear gonna something wear? I'll figure it out. <laughs> you gonna wear something. If I, I don't wear a bag for the rest of my life, you wearing some kind. Well, they didn't know that she's gonna have to win. Well, it was well, she shouldn't just let somebody just plunge up into her like that. Yeah, that's your body. I don't know why she ain't telling me her. What's up, y'all? This episode is also being brought to you by Pressure Online Media. Listen, if you need video shoots, music videos, photo shoots, uh, special events, uh, weddings, birthdays, etc., hit our people up. Pressure Online Media. You can find him on Instagram. All one word. Pressure online media and tell them we sent you. Exactly. But I she feel knew it so I- bad. She's young too. She's never going to be able to use the bathroom the same, you guys. I just would suggest that you don't let anyone, Auntie, don't let nobody go up in you. Let, let me tell you something. Don't, don't let know no what they do because they want to mess you up and you already let 60. Let me, didn't I just tell you if somebody's going up in me, they're going to learn. How they got to gotta learn. But they ain't going up in my butt. That ain't something <laughs> they're going to do. But if I had that desire, you ain't going to just plunge up into me and keep mm-hmm. doing it. And, mm-hmm. and then she must act like she like. I don't know what she now you And now you wearing a bag. What the hell? He ripped her open ripped inside. Ripped bag. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She must have had a horse. <laughs> Wait, a horse? Figure it out. <laughs> oh, like the size was a horse. Oh, I was like, Auntie, my friend don't be sleeping with horses. But you right. I know what you're saying. <laughs> That's the only way she could be carrying a bag afterwards. Why does it? No, because see, do you know how big a horse is? I don't know how big. Yeah. Show me. Yeah. How the hell am I show you like, like a horse? I'm saying like a horse, like like it's 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 enormous. Wow, it's enormous. I don't think it has to be huge. I just think that you know, um, if there's little veins and pockets and. <laughs> Bang stuff up in there that like you gotta relax your muscles. So I would assume if someone is tight and someone ran, you gonna mess up. But the but little... but see that's it. She's a she's 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 a child because there's <laughs> nobody gonna ram up into me ever, ever, ever ram ram up into me. Just get the plunger like no vaseline. No, no. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna no. go. No, no, that's how she gonna have a bag unless he did that. 
He definitely probably. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't she know. She was like, raped. Auntie. If she need a bag <laughs> afterwards, she was raped. Dang. That ain't no pleasure. That's no pleasure. <laughs> I don't know. That is no raped. pleasure. We're not saying that she, she was raped. Was we're not raped. To get anyone indicted over here. She was raped. Uh, uh, because allegedly. Of, no, allegedly she was she was raped. Cause if you if if somebody did that to you and you're wearing a bag for the rest of your life, you were raped. Oh. That was no pleasure. Cause Let's, cause you would say stop, get out of me. What you doing? Something. And she got a bag afterwards. She was raped. She ain't tell me she was raped. But listen, y'all. She was raped. We gonna go get this food. And we're going to go ahead and plate it. And we're going to show you how it looks. And we're going to tell you how it tastes. And then we're going to finish oh our conversation. Gosh, you had me talking about penises and people, right? I know. So, if you can't stand the heat. Stay out this kitchen, man. Oh, for real, for real. Because ain't nobody ever plunging me. I ain't never <laughs> wearing a bag. Right. Auntie. She was she right. Loved it. And we're back, y'all. So, listen. Offset, we went and did all of the things that my auntie explained. And this is your finishing product. This is what you have. Once you mix all of your ingredients together, you should have a stir fry just like this. Y'all see that? Y'all see all that yummy goodness? This can be served by itself. Or you can add just some white rice if you want to. It's up to you. But we are going to take bites and see what this tastes like. You ready? I'm so ready. Mm, then we're going to have this conversation, okay. finish this conversation. Okay, I don't even remember the conversation, but let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes really good. Oh my goodness, did I do that? You did. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Let me take one more bite. This is good. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really is good. I ain't just saying it because I did it. Mmm. I had help. Mmm. It's really good. You did it. So, what are we talking about now? So, I know you transitioned to your new job from your old job. Let's talk about it. And then I got something else I got to tell you that I've been watching on Netflix. Well, I transitioned to a, a office job, 8 to 5, mm -hmm. to a warehouse job overnight from 6 to 8 to 5. Isn't that a transition? That's a very big transition. How was that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just spoke to me in the last few mm. I'm surprised myself. Mm. Mm. You miss your old friends? Absolutely yeah. not. What do you mean, <laughs> absolutely not? Them little white houses? No. Why don't you miss them? Don't do them like that. They was okay, and I could handle them. But you know how young people... It's hard for young people to have a position and me be respectful, which I try to the fullest, and they're younger than my child. They was younger than your child? Yes. And they were, were they disrespectful? They wasn't disrespectful, but they had the little smartness to them. You know how that go. They be smart and all that. But you know what? Hmm. I, and, and I excuse that because, you know, I call them my lily white heifers. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This episode is being brought to you by the MacBook Pros. Yes, I said it. If you need a MacBook Pro fully loaded with recording, video editing, graphic design software, you need to hit our people up. They are in Metro Atlanta, but shipping is also available. So you can find them on IG at MacBook underscore pros underscore ATL and tell them we sent you. Exactly what she said. Oh. It was like, you know how they be dingy, like little dingbats and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. The dingbat? They were dingbats? That what you dingbat. mean? Like, what? Give me an example of something like that. Like, wow. you, know, you know how you smart and you stupid at the same time? <laughs> That's how that was. <coughs> Wasn't ready for that. They smart and stupid at the same time. That's the same. You know how you can be so smart that you do the stupidest thing? Yes. I know that. I've been and then do you think you have control <laughs> over me? Mm. And then when it doesn't happen, they get big eyes. Like little white <laughs> apples. They little white apples. Because they can't believe that you said what you said to them. Probably. Oh, my gosh. And then when I don't say nothing, when they say something and I don't respond, they, they don't know what to say. Mm. And I respect them because she was my manager. But it's hard for me to respect somebody that's like five years younger than my daughter. Oh, five whole five. years. Yeah, but, you know, they got power trip. Mm. Can but you? they they didn't deeply respect me. But one day we went at it really hard. Really? Yeah. What happened? I told her. 
And she said, Shelby, you can't speak. I said, you're yelling out of your mouth. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. She probably I shouldn't have said that. But you said it. And she said, what? And I said, you know what? It's okay. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't say anything. I said, I apologize. And she got angry. And I said, okay. And she said, well, I'm going to tell. I said, you know what? I'm so sick of you. Do what you got to do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then I, we had a conversation. I talked to the manager. She said, I understand how she is. I know she like that. But she didn't know I meant really what happened. Oh. But she knew she was like that. And then mm. she calmed it all the way down. And then when she found out, I was like, she said, you leaving? I said, why won't you be happy? Why won't you be happy? And she didn't say anything. She said, well, no, it wasn't really like that. I said, I think you'll be very happy. Mm. But I will stay here the full two weeks and... And, and I'm not going to leave. Because I did give him two weeks notice. You did. So now that's the story of the little white heifers. <laughs> well, now that you heard that story, let me tell you about this other story on Netflix. What is that man name again? I don't know. The, he be, okay, it's oh, Jeffrey Dumar. Dumar. Who was he? He be eating people. You got to be. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. He eat. What do you mean? Stop he talking. Eat. Stop Let me playing. tell you. No, honestly. Stop no. playing. He, he eat, eat people. He eat humans like me and you. So let me tell you. No, he don't eat humans like you. First of all, he 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 been eating gay men. But it's still human people like me, yeah. like human people, not animals. I'm saying. So let me tell you the story. But he's is gay. it true he, 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 he eats gay them? People? He eats them. Yes, he eats gay men. But he cuts them up and he cuts their head off. They, they're, Girl, they're, they're, lying, they're, man. their body parts below. He eats their heart. He he cuts their arms up. And so he them. eats their D-I-C-K. He eats, <laughs> he eats their penis. He eats it. He bites into it and he eats okay, it. Okay, Tara. I'm going to finish that. And listen, and they that. caught him. Oh my God, let me tell you. So he went to this gay bar, right? And he saw this man and he was like, you know, Oh, I'm gonna take you back home. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to my house. I'm gonna buy you a drink and get you drunk, right? And that's what he did. And I was like, okay, what's this about to be? So they went back to the apartment. And when the man walked in, he was like, oh, it's stinking here. What's that smell? He was like, oh, people like to send me pork chops. And I like to, you know, cook a lot of pork chops. So then, y'all, this is crazy. This is not real. This is real. I promise y'all, this is real. Leave a comment below if y'all know what I'm talking about and y'all seen this. So then the man gets there. He's like, okay. He pours him a drink and he puts some like cocaine or some drugs or something. Put cocaine in it. You know what? Count the drugs. He might have gave my date drug, man. Well, it was white and he put it in a drink and he said, here, have this. And then he said, okay. the guy just drunk it. He drunk a little bit and he put it down. He was like, I'm going to go. He was like saying it, it's weird and it was dirty, it was nasty in there. And he said, No, you're gonna go in the bedroom. He got a machete. Wait. Ain't a machete like a big knife? Yeah, it's like he Okay, he got a machete and he was aiming it at him like this. Aiming it just like this. I feel like I'm gonna I'm telling you. He was aiming it at him like this. He went in the room and they sat on the bed and they was watching movies. And then he told him, he asked him if he was high yet. That's why I thought it was cocaine. Because he asked me if he was high yet. And he said, we're going to take some pictures and he wants to see But he could have had heroin or something. Everything something. Not, not so the cocaine. man acted high and he was dancing. He was like, yeah, take pictures of me. Yeah. He was going like that. He was going like that. He was like, yeah, take pictures of me. Take pictures of me. And then he went in the room and he was like, okay, yeah, I'm ready. Then he did the unthinkable. He cut his thing off? No. He hit him in the head and then the man ran out with no shirt on and pants and handcuffed. One handcuff and he found the cops. What's up, y'all? This episode is also being brought to you by Pressure Online Media. Listen, if you need video shoots, music videos, photo shoots, uh, special events, uh, weddings, birthdays, etc., hit our people up, Pressure Online Media. You can find him on Instagram, all one word, Pressure Online Media, and tell them we sent you. Exactly. They went back to the apartment and the cop went in the drawer. He was like, this man tried to kill me. He went in the drawer and saw pictures of Jeffrey and all these black... Did you say Jeffy or Jeffrey? Jeffrey. (laughs) 
It's Jeffrey. <laughs> not <laughs> Jeffy. <laughs> I remember the story. I didn't say Jeffy, I oh promise. My God. So then flashback, I'm sorry. <laughs> We have to talk about that in the not minute. not now. Oh, all not right, now. all right. Not but now. anyway, the cops saw the pictures of them cut the hearts out. Then they opened the refrigerator. It was a head in the refrigerator, a cut off head. I really, I've, I really find this hard. To believe. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all go to Netflix. It's on there. I promise you, it's and, on there. And he eat them, and he eats their body parts, all of it. Well, what happened to him? He went to jail. They caught him. Yeah, they caught him. <laughs> it was great. And I fell asleep watching it. Oh, my God. He, he, he got killed in jail. They killed him in jail. They, I imagine they did. He was eating body parts and stuff. Yes, his father Because they probably, probably thought, thought they was going to eat his body. <laughs> they was going to eat the jail man's body parts. They killed his ass. Listen, oh, the father I cried. Ass, right? You could say ass. They killed the they father. Killed I'm sorry. Body. They didn't kill the father. The father cried when he found out that his son was eating male penises. That's all he ate was the penis. He ate everything. <laughs> but that's crazy. He ate it. He ate it. And, that's and I was like, that's crazy. So what if we feel like it then feel like it we eat no This penis? I mean I'ma eat it anyway. <laughs> I don't think this is a penis. Mm-hmm. But look, <laughs> y'all, we gonna wrap this episode up. <laughs> but I had to end with that note. On that note, but leave a comment below if y'all know what I'm talking about, because I know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show I her. don't know. I'm gonna show her the show. So this is another episode. This is included. Because well, I it. understand people doing stuff with penises, but not eating them. Well, you eat them too. No, I don't. I mean, you don't eat them. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. Description below. It's going to be all the ingredients that we use to make this. Oh, and we will see y'all next week. Next week. Next week. Until next week. And if you can't stand the heat, you can stay out of this kitchen. <laughs>